Hey guys, it's me, Callie. Today I am super excited to be sharing with you how I created these really cool boho inspired alcohol dipped candles just in time for the holiday season. I use some alcohol inks, some cheap candles, a few charms, tattoos, and created these really cool candles just in time for the holiday season. Um, I got carried away, you guys. So it's really easy. I was inspired by my friend and sister, Patty Greco Sunshine from the Funky Hippie Chic Boutique. And I just went with it, you guys. So I hope you're inspired. And stick around. I'll show you how I created these beautiful candles. Okay guys, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is protect your work area because this project gets really messy. So I'm just going to lay down some craft mat and on top of that I'm going to add some wax paper. Then I'm going to use some gloves. You have been warned. <laughs> uh, the first thing you're going to need are some candles and you can get these really cheaply um, at your dollar store or Walmart. I've even gotten candles at thrift stores or auctions, um, preferably white or light colored, but I will show you an example of some that I used with this color. I wouldn't do any dark candles because the inks aren't going to show up. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to use this small pillar candle. And then next, you're going to need some alcohol ink. Um, I have some inks here by Ranger, Tim Holtz, and they come in packages of three and they're actually kind of set up to blend together and go work well together, but you can make any combinations you want. And if you don't have any of these, any kind of alcohol ink will do, even um, homemade alcohol inks, which I will show you right now. And I have successfully made alcohol inks in the past. They last forever. And these were made, you can still see the inside, um, with plain 91% rubbing alcohol and the inside of a magic marker. Now, Sharpie markers work best for these, but they any kind of marker will do. So just take a small jar or any container and add a little bit of the alcohol. Again, be sure it's like at least 90%. Um, look on the label because 50% won't work as well. So just add a little bit of alcohol into your jar and then I just go in. These are old markers. Um, even when you think your markers are dried up, or things you want to get rid of, you can just kind of break them apart and pull out the inside. Okay, again, let me get a glove on here. And then you just take a scissor and cut up the pieces of the marker. And I would recommend letting it sit at least overnight. But these inks last a long time and you can rejuvenate them with adding more alcohol to them. Um, but yeah, the ink on the inside of the marker kind of seeps out. And like I said here, I did these yesterday. This is an orange, obviously, and this dark blue. Now you can strain out the, it's just like cotton inside of a little tube. Uh, you can strain these if you want or just leave them. I leave them in there. But so that's an example of how you can improvise if you don't want to spend the money for alcohol inks, which are very pricey, I might add. Um, so in addition to the alcohol, I also have some uh, blending solution, which they sell uh, very expensively. And I'm just using the same 91% alcohol 
in a small spritzer bottle. Okay. In addition to that, you're going to need some type of a blending tool. And again, rather than spend the money on one, I decided to make one. And I have a lot of these spice bottles, speaking of the auction. Um, and I just took a top from a spice bottle and I took some Velcro and make sure you're not using the soft part. Make sure you're using the part with the little nubbies on it. And I just cut a piece. Now they already have uh, adhesive on the back, but if you want added protection, you can um, use some E6000 glue or something comparable. Of course, I can't do this with my gloves on. Here we go. So, you know, again, you can use a drop of glue if you want, but these will stick. And then I just took some white felt. And initially, <laughs> I took a marker and traced around and cut out these circles. To fit on top and then I realized what a waste of my time that was and decided to just cut out little squares I cut strips of the felt and it doesn't matter when you're doing the blending what shape your blending pad is in <clears throat> so these work really well and you could save a lot of money so I made a bunch of those and that is all of the supplies that we're going to need uh, unless you want to further embellish at the end and I'll show you some examples uh, using some temporary tattoos you know beads and ribbons and things but let's just get started on our project okay the first thing we're gonna do I'm gonna work with these three colors here um, raspberry pebble and clover okay first thing we're going to do is put down a puddle of ink well actually you know what first thing we're going to do is clean our candle i'm going to take a little square of felt and just lightly go over it to remove any dust or oils or anything like that and this alcohol evaporates almost immediately that's another thing you don't have to worry as long as you're using the alcohol inks once the alcohol evaporates it just leaves behind the pigment so you don't have to worry about that being flammable um, obviously if you embellish them further that's a different story but let's use some raspberry and just gonna put some drops down here you don't really need a lot and we're just gonna roll our candle Look at that. It's so vibrant. So beautiful. And I'll show you an example of some of the um, homemade ink that I used. And so let's just take one of these and I'm going to go in and use up the rest of that ink. And this is just our first layer. And it's so fun to play, you guys, because as you build, you know, you get different effects and it's never the same twice, which I love. And if you make any mistakes, which there really aren't any, um, you can just spritz it with the alcohol and kind of rub it off and start all over. Okay, so I'm just kind of playing with this here all right I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then we're going to go in and I'm gonna take a let's just add some of our clover You could always blow air on these for different effects. There are many tutorials on YouTube uh, using alcohol inks. Um, I'm actually fairly new 
to the joy of these, but they're amazing. And this is so easy and so fun. You're going to get caught up in it. I'm just going to put, put the clover and the fuchsia and we'll put a little bit of this pebble. And take a look at your color wheel if you need to, to make sure you're not going to make mud. Um, okay. We're just going to go around and you could do a combination of these blenders and you can also just kind of drip from the top which I'll show you. Let me just put this here. Um, yeah, take your ink and actually just let it flow down the sides. Okay. So much fun. All right, and I'm going to keep going back and forth with my blender and kind of incorporate in those areas. And when you have it the way you like it, you know, let this dry a little bit. And then we're going to spritz it with our blending solution for a different effect, which we can layer on top of that as well. Uh, somehow everything I make turns to purple. <laughs> I'll show you some other examples uh, when we're done here of different ones I've done. All right, so just let that dry for a second. Looks really cool. And we will be adding more on top of this, uh, especially that clover, I think, is going to look really cool when this is done. So you want to let it dry for, you know, a few minutes. Not a few minutes, a few, maybe 30 seconds. But you could blow on it a little. I wouldn't advise using your heat gun. Uh, and then we are going to spritz with our little alcohol mister and I'll show you. You don't really need a lot and I think you could see right away what's happening there. Okay, immediately it has this marbled, funky kind of effect and I'm just going to kind of go all the way around Uh, love. Look at that. And again, they're all unique, you know. Never can do the same one twice. And you can use these as a backdrop for, you know, if you wanted to do decoupage on your candle or, you know, further embellish it with brads or little jewels, things like that, you know. So once we've done that, again, you can just go back and forth until you really are happy with the way it looks. I'm going to go in with some of this clover again, just to show you an example. And then I'll show you some other ones I've done. And I'll take good pics of these. I'm not sure how good this is coming up in the light, but oh, look, you guys, okay, all right, I'm just going to continue patting around and adding colors 
and spritzing with my alcohol but just to show you how beautiful that is all right so let me continue doing that back and forth and I'll see you back here in just a minute and there you have it guys what do you think I am in love with this technique it really just makes everything so magical and it's so simple so I'm gonna show you at this point like I said this could be a background for something else you could put a decoupage image on or put some metal brads in a pattern you could add charms and ribbons um, I'll show you a couple more that I did here is this one and I decided to take a temporary tattoo that I had of a hamsa hand and literally you just put them on the same way you would put it on your skin I wet the candle and the alcohol inks do not run so once they're dry they're permanent so I wet it I peeled off the tattoo put it on held a cloth over the top of it for 30 seconds and carefully removed the outer layer you know I literally just used like kid tattoos you know so let your imagination run wild I did another one here let's see and I just put a little jute twine and a charm this would be a great way to do a little choker necklace or something for a gift you could wrap the twine around and around or the cord with a special charm you could deconstruct some jewelry you know hang a feather and again when you light the candle you don't want things hanging around the open flame so obviously burn these under supervision but I am in love with these in love let me show you some of the tapers that I did um, if you wanted to keep you know right now it's the holiday season so if you wanted to keep traditional colors of reds and greens or Yule or solstice or Christmas or whatever you want you could do them seasonally um, so I just kept those in the same family color here is one of those pink candles that I showed you before and I just did reds on top of that and cranberries it's very rich looking here's some different ones again if anyone who knows me knows that I naturally gravitate towards the purples and blues and teals but won't these make amazing gifts love love a couple more just because I got carried away you know and you can give these in pairs or singly obviously or you could keep them for yourself Here is, um, just so you get an idea, this is one I did with the blue alcohol ink that I made. And I just to give you, it's the only color I put on the candle. And I just wanted to show you the effect. It is a little lighter than the other ones, but they do work. And then here's another one of the red candles. And I put a little uh, temporary tattoo on the bottom just for a nice touch and if you mess up with the tattoos they come off very easily with water if you get them off right away trust me I'm speaking from experience I wanted to do a matched pair here and the second one kind of tore so take your chances um, and then last but not least just to show you uh, and I, I took some you know OG purple ribbon and added a little charm and I just think that would be a perfect gift 
What do you think? You guys, I hope I inspired you today. Again, check out links below. And if you don't feel like making these, I have to tell you, my inspiration for these came from my dear friend and sister, Sunshine, from the Funky Hippie Chic Boutique. Uh, she taught me about this technique. And if you guys don't feel like making your own and you would like to purchase some, I know that she has some at her store, and I'll put a link to that below as well. So have a blessed holiday season. Regardless of when you're making these, I am sending you guys so much peace, so much love. Uh, what's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Um, do you like them plain or embellished? If you decide to make some of these, please tag me. I would love to see uh, your take on them. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.